from an art festival to gaming to holiday lights. There's a lot going on this weekend, and here to detail a few events is Sarah Warner of Destination Madison. Great to see you. You too, thank you. Okay, so first we're gonna start with the Black Arts Matter Festival, which actually started yesterday. It started yesterday. It's an annual event at the Union's Memorial Union Terrace that really celebrates the interdisciplinary arts um, dedicated to building community around black artistry. There's a lot of events, so times vary, check it out. Most of them are free, but one of the major highlights is the Poetry Slam. There are award-winning poets from around the country who come and compete, and it's just an incredible experience, so be sure to check that out. Super cool, check the website for all those times. Okay, if you're a video game lover, or your kid, or partner loves video <laughs> games, there's a conference that runs tomorrow. That's right. It's an annual conference that is being hosted in Madison this year. It's called MDev, and it's an eSports conference for gamers and developers to get together. But there are two public elements. Okay. Um, so during the day on Friday, you can sign up and do a mystery e-tournament and play some of these games that are uh, crafted in the Midwest. And then in the evening, there, Delta Beer Lab is actually hosting a, a party too for this in, in addition, but in the evening you can go and just meet, walk through the hall, uh, talk to the developers, give them some input on what you want to see in your games moving forward. I love that. I do like video games, but kind of, I'm more of the old school because I played in the 80s and 90s, so you, <laughs> you know. should go check it out. I, I should you go want it back. It <laughs> My kids would love that. Their favorite thing is video games. Okay, Saturday evening is a musical event, and this is really cool because it features an international artist and local music. Musicians. Yeah, that's right. At Artlet Lab, Dane Arts, um, Tito Medina from Guatemala. He's he's just internationally re renowned singer songwriter and Mayan mestizo cultural activist. Oh. So really important in preserving kind of some of that history. History. We'll be performing a bunch of songs with uh, Latin influence um, at Artlet Lab, and it is free with a recommended five dollar donation but having this artist in in madison is an incredible honor where's the art lit lab it is right kind of near the sylvie off of okay. that east, east washington Wash. arts corridor that's really oh, building cool. up now yeah it's that's an awesome space too there's galleries in there as well awesome and finally the holiday fantasy and lights kicks off on saturday that's right at dusk and we barely need to say anything about this it becomes such a great memory opportunity for folks driving through it is free. You can donate to the cause, but the electric group puts this on every year in Olin Park. Uh, and it's such a great way to just drive through and see different companies sponsor different kind of art displays yeah. that are a lot of fun. Lots of different light displays around southern Wisconsin, but this is one that's easy to hit up because it's right there in the middle of it all. That's right. And runs for seven weeks or so, right? Yep, through, through the, the end of the year, actually, December 31st. It'll okay. be, you know, as soon as it gets dark, you can start driving through. And it looks like it's getting dark pretty soon. So <laughs> by Saturday, you could go as early as 5 o'clock probably, right? Probably. <laughs>